Come on, Margaret, pull yourself together. Hi, my name is Margaret, and welcome to my artsy corner of the internet. I'm in a different corner today because I'm home and not in college. Speaking of college, I'm in it. 10 out of 10 introduction. For those of you guys that don't know, I am a college dance major. And if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming that you guys want to be college dance majors, but you're probably very confused on where to start. If you want to know the short version of my story, I went to a college prep school, which means everybody went to college. It was a big deal, but nobody ever went for dance. Mostly it was like academics. My school was really great at getting us ready for college and preparing us and helping us with like the ACT and the Common App and all of those things that I don't want to think about anymore. But they had no idea how to advise a dancer getting into dance. So I thought that I could put together some videos on the internet for those of y'all that need some help as well. When I first got to college, I was talking with some of my other uh, classmates and I was like, how did y'all know all of that before? They were talking about going to like auditions with most multiple schools. They were talking about calling dance programs. They were talking about how they had their solo choreographed a year in advance. And I was like, I didn't even know I needed an adult an audition, <laughs> an audition solo until I like got to the audition. Also, there's just not much out on the internet to help people besides like top 10 lists that haven't changed since the 80s. I thought I could start out with some of just the basic information about dance degrees, the different versions, the different kinds of schools, and kind of help y'all out. I think the first thing that you need to decide is do you want to go to a conservatory program or a liberal arts program? You might be asking, <laughs> what's the difference? I'll tell you. The difference is, is that in a conservatory program, you're going to have a lot more emphasis on the dance. And in a liberal arts program, you're going to have a little bit more emphasis shifted to your actual academics. For example, at SUNY Purchase, which is a conservatory type program, you have to take 90 credits of dance and only 30 credits of like classical liberal arts. And of the 30 credits for classical liberal arts, eight of those can be dance history classes. So as you can see, you're taking like 98 credits of dance classes and only 22, did I do that math properly? I think so. Yes, 22 credits of normal college classes. Whereas for a liberal arts degree, you'd probably be somewhere around like a 60-40% or like a 65-45. I don't actually know, it can fluctuate but you're definitely gonna have more liberal arts classes than just dance classes. One other difference is because you're doing so much dance, you're gonna be much more insulated at a conservatory program, meaning you can probably go your entire college career and just interact with dancers. Whereas a liberal arts program, you're gonna have to interact with English majors and math majors and business majors, and you're gonna have a wide breadth of people that you meet and interact with on a daily basis. So if you're interested in going and just hanging out with dancers and maybe other artists, conservatory might be cool for you. But if you really want to go to like a big college and meet people from, from all different places with many different interests, maybe liberal arts is more your, more your vibe. Overall, a liberal arts program is going to give you a little bit more of that classical college vibe. And a conservatory is just going to be a little bit more strict. And another phrase that you're going to become very, very familiar with is conservatory training with a liberal arts education. That is like the buzz phrase for dance colleges. Basically what it means is you have to do all the core curriculum of the university which the dance is housed in, but they have a very conservatory-esque training program, which means everybody's taking three hours of class a day, um, everybody's taking the same amount of classes, everybody's performing, everybody's choreographing, so it's very heavy on the dance, but you still have to do the university core curriculum. So I personally went with a conservatory and a liberal arts education, I thought it was kind of the best of both worlds of having people around you who did different things, but also having a really, really strong dance program with a lot of good technique. But that decision is totally up to you and totally personal of what you kind of want out of your training. That's also uh, good to keep in mind just because if you go to an arts college, basically the only classes you're going to be able to take are in the arts. Whereas if you go to a university, you might be able to take a class in astronomy or business or something else that's way outside the realm of arts if you're interested in something else. So I was very surprised because I didn't even know this until I was in college. 
but there are two different kinds, well, there are many different types of degrees for dance, but there are two main types, a BA and a BFA, which is a Bachelor of Arts and a Bachelor of Fine Arts. So basically, the main difference is a BFA, you're gonna have more performance and more studio time, more classes, technique, performing on stage. A BA, you're gonna have a little bit more academic, more dance histories, more kinesiologies, anatomies, more academic. You are gonna still dance in the studio in both of them. It's just fine arts has a little bit more emphasis on performance. A BFA also is going to require more credit hours for dance in general, where a BA has less requirements credit-wise. This is also why more conservatory programs are BFAs and more liberal arts are BAs, but that's not always the case. Similarly, if you have less credits in the actual dance, you're gonna have more core credits, which is basically just like the maths, the sciences, the English, the literature that you have to take for the school as a general. Also, if you're looking to double major or minor, a BA might be more your vibe because it's easier to double major with a BA. BFAs, you can usually get a minor. I never saw a BFA where you could double major. I'm sure they're out there, but if you want a double major, a BA would probably be your best bet. Also, just a side note, uh, the difference between a BFA and a BA probably isn't going to impact what you can do with your dance career once you're out of college. I can almost guarantee you if you go to an audition outside, like after you finish college, they're not gonna be like, oh, well, we were gonna hire you, but you only have a BA. You know, it's very merit-based. So if you're good enough to get the job, you'll get the job. It's more just what you want from your college experience. I also do wanna throw out that there are some really cool programs out there with dance where it's not technically a dance degree, but it is a dance influenced degree. I don't think that's an actual term, but for example, it might be a kinesiology or athletic training degree, but with an emphasis on dance. So you take dance class, you perform, you choreograph, but your actual degree is in like kinesiology. I know somebody who went to one of those programs and I know that they really liked it. So if you're more leaning towards, I wanna be a physical therapist when I'm older, maybe a degree more similar to that would fit you better than just going straight for like a BFA in dance. Another thing to take into consideration when you're looking at colleges is what are the concentrations? So some colleges actually have concentrations. Like you can decide that you're gonna be ballet or modern or jazz and you decide when you first go into that college which style you're going to pursue. Other colleges, all of the majors are just in the same like dance category, but they might specialize in modern or contemporary and that's like their thing and they don't really do other styles. So you should probably think about, do you wanna to go to a school where you are concentrating on one specific style or do you wanna to go to a school where it's more a uh, general dance degree? And if you do wanna to go to a concentration, kind of start to decide what concentration you're looking at. There's different benefits for all. Um, obviously, if you're in a concentration, you might feel like you're stuck in one style, but also a lot of programs will let you kind of hop over in different concentrations. So you might be a jazz concentration, but they still let you take point in ballet and modern classes. So that can be great. Or, you know, maybe you just say, I just want to go to a contemporary program and it's a bunch of different styles of contemporary and I don't have to like label myself as a specific style. That's very much just personal preference and whichever one you think will be best for you. Another thing to look into is how strict is the curriculum. So you have schools that are like Sarah Lawrence where I've talked to people who go there and it's very much like you talk to your academic advisor and you say, I want to take dance, singing, theater, poetry, and this, and they help you basically create a curriculum for yourself where you can study anything that your heart desires. And then there are schools like NYU where they have a three-year program and you're there all year and they tell you exactly what to take and you take it. Both schools have their benefits. Another thing you can look out for is affiliations with companies and choreographers. So there are some schools that do this where it's basically a dance company and a school kind of just get an affiliation. And so you get your college degree from one and then you go and you train with that company or school of dance. Then you can graduate with a dance degree even though you took your academic classes at the college and you took your dance classes at this other company. Most notably, I think Fordham and Ailey is probably the best known of this one where you take your classes from Fordham and then you take your dance classes from Ailey and then you graduate from Fordham, but all of your training came from Ailey. So if, a, if your dream company is Ailey, that would be a great place to look. Or if your dream company has another affiliation with another school, that's also a great place to look. 
Not all affiliations look like that though. Um, Loyola Marymount University in LA had uh, an affiliation with Bill T. Jones for a while. I don't know if they still have it, but it was more like they were like guest teachers. They just worked with their school of dance a lot. The third way that schools kind of do affiliations is more of a ballet thing. Ballet companies will sometimes have like an affiliation with a local college. And so trainees of the ballet company can go to that college to receive their education. And they kind of work around the school schedules and stuff to work everything out. I'm not as well versed in how to like apply for ballet companies. So not really my forte, but I know that those also exist. So if you're interested in getting into a ballet company someday, that might be more up your alley. And finally, just a little reminder is that not all of your training when you're in college is going to come from your college dance program. So you probably won't find the perfect fit college for you, but that's totally okay. You can look at the surrounding dance community, you can look at individual projects or grants that you can get to create your own things, and you can really mold an education that will benefit you in the long run. Not everything has to be in this one dance program. So yeah, those are basically some just basic tips and fundamentals of dance colleges that I totally wish I would have known my senior year of high school, but you know, here we are two years later and now I know them, so yeah. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about how to build a list of dance colleges and just how to figure out what colleges have dance programs and where you should start looking. So if that interests you, subscribe and I will make that soon. And yeah, if anybody has any other questions, I'd love to talk to any dancers out there who really want to become dance majors. Um, I made it. <laughs> if I can make it, you can make it. Um, and I hope that this was somewhat helpful to those of y'all that don't know what you're doing. <laughs>